Sure, when you look at the lake, it looks beautiful. It is pristine. The untouched wilderness is where we're at, but unfortunately, underneath the surface of the water, there's a lot of damage being done. And that's not allowed. We're not gonna allow that in Yellowstone National Park. That's, this place is, you know, it's much more than that. We're way better than that. It is fixable, but it's not an easy fix. We just have to crash that population of lake trout and then figure out a way to keep that population crashed. And the cutthroat will come back on their own. We are aggressively netting non-native lake trout from Yellowstone Lake to reduce their predation on our native cutthroat trout. The problem is, is the lake trout are like large wolves on the landscape, essentially, only in the lake large, highly predatory fish-eating machines, essentially. We can open up the stomachs of the lake trout we've netted and we'll easily find four, five, six, seven, eight cutthroat trout two to three inches long in their belly. It is disappointing when we find the lake trout with all the cutthroat in their stomachs, but then again, it's also satisfying because let's face it, this is a lake trout that's no longer swimming in, in the lake anymore. <laughs> so it's gone. <laughs> the lake trout population is in a steep decline. We're still killing hundreds of thousands of lake trout a year. So it is hard from, from the boat's perspective. So is really, is this having an effect? But no doubt from the data we're collecting is saying, no, yes, you are winning. You just have to keep it up. We're just doing things kind of right at the right time, I think, where we are really making a big difference. There's a lot of significant positive change going on for native fish in Yellowstone.